Good evening. Welcome to the 2022-2023 Lacey Township High School National Honor Society induction ceremony. At this time, I would like to welcome the 2022-2023 inductees and mentors to the Edwin B. Salter chapter of the National Honor Society. Now, before we begin this evening, I ask for you to please rise and join me for the singing of the national anthem and our school alma mater by Encore, the Lacey Township High School Select Choral Ensemble. Encore, the LTHS Select Choral Ensemble, will sing the national anthem and the alma mater.
That was amazing. Please be seated. I now like to call Mr. Zacker, Edwin B. Salter, Chapter Advisor, to the podium. Hello, my name is Sean Zacker, and I am the National Honor Society Advisor. Tonight, we have the esteemed privilege of welcoming our newest members of the Edwin B. Salter Chapter of the National Honor Society. You have worked so hard to get here and have demonstrated the highest standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Now you are going to join the ranks of your fellow members. To the parents, loved ones, and friends who are here to support the new inductees, you deserve so much recognition and praise, as this accomplishment would not be possible without your love and support. To the mentors, you should be proud to have made a lasting impact and impression in someone's life. I would also like to thank everyone who has worked so hard in making tonight's ceremony possible. Dr. Pereira, the Lacey Township School District Administration, the Board of Education, Mr. King, Ms. Esch, Mr. Angelo, Mr. Balls, Dr. Perperai and the guidance counselors, Mr. Merman and the digital media crew, Mr. Pierce and Mrs. Leonard, uh, excuse me, Ms. Laird for our wonderful programs, Mr. Olander and the Encore, the Lacey Township High School Select Choral Ensemble, and Mr. Sotero for emceeing our evening. I'd also like to thank Ms. Stevenson and the office and guidance secretarial staff, as well as Mr. Cornelius and his amazing custodial staff who have helped so much in getting this organized. None of this would have been possible without their aid and support. And finally, I'd like to thank the amazing group of talented leaders you see before you, the NHS officers and executives. These students have worked extremely hard in preparing for tonight's ceremony. This night is a success success because of them. Please enjoy this very special evening as we present the newest members and inductees to our chapter. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zacker. Now I'd like to introduce our principal, Mr. King. Good evening. Welcome board members, Dr. Pereira, staff, parents, friends, students, and inductees. It is my great pleasure to stand before you this evening and share in the celebration as we welcome the newest members of the Edwin B. Salter chapter of the National Honor Society. Thank you, Mr. Sotero, for opening our ceremony, and thank you, Mr. Zacher, for all you do as the advisor. Tonight's not about an award. It's not about a medal or a trophy. It's not about one event, a competition, a performance, a game, it's not about any of those things. Tonight, we're celebrating and recognizing the culmination of the hard work and dedication to excellence that these inductees have shown throughout their time here in high school. Throughout the selection process, your application was vetted and compared to the high standards of the students that came before you. Understand with that, you're here because you belong here. You're here because you were chosen to be here. You've proven your worth. And you deserve all the accolades you're going to receive this evening. As I look at our current members, I'm extremely honored and proud because they define what the National Honor Society is. They've upheld the values. They've made a positive impact everywhere they've gone in this building and throughout this town. As new inductees, they have set the path for you. You must follow that. They've shown what it takes to be an active and contributing member to the National Honor Society. Your role as new inductees is to keep striving to be your best, raise up those around you, and lead by example. Your hard work and positive energy will carry you far. We expect great things from you, but understand you've already done great things. This isn't a change in who you are. This isn't a change in what you can accomplish. It's a continuation of who you are, and it's a continuation of the great things you've already done. Congratulations are certainly in order to the parents, mentors. Special note about mentors, you were chosen 
by the inductees tonight to share in this moment. That positive impact that Mr. Zacker mentioned is a true connection that you may or may not have realized you had. So as you stand on stage with your inductee, feel the pride that they feel and understand they're here this evening because of your influence and your, your actions. We certainly thank you for that. To inductees, we know you accomplished many great things. We look forward to you contributing to the town and the school and beyond all of that. It's an honor and privilege to accept these students as members of the National Honor Society. They are to be congratulated for their outstanding accomplishments. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy tonight's celebration. Thank you, Mr. King. I would like to welcome Dr. Pereira, superintendent, to the podium now. Good evening, National Honor Society inductees, mentors, parents, family, and friends. Tonight we celebrate an outstanding group of Lacey Township High School students who have met the rigorous prerequisites of the National Honor Society, an organization established to recognize outstanding students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Recognition for one of these areas alone is impressive, but recognition for all four is what sets these students apart from all others. The students who are being inducted tonight into the Lacey Township School District's National Honor Society have committed themselves to a lofty set of ideals. This commitment did not happen by accident. The students here this evening started a journey as freshmen where they worked hard at their academics, volunteered to support others, joined clubs and sports to immerse themselves in their school community, and rose to the leadership roles to truly set them apart from others. Tonight's inductees have also identified an individual who helped them to get to the significant milestone. Your role as mentors is just as important. You have influenced and supported our students and served as role models. For that, we thank you. Inductees, tonight you join the ranks of many before you who pledge to the honor code of the National Honor Society. Congratulations to all of you, to your parents and families, and to the mentors who have inspired you to reach this impressive level of accomplishment. Edwin B. Salter, the National Honor Society namesake and distinguished teacher, would be proud as we all are. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Pereira. I now like to welcome Mrs. Downing, the Board of Education President. Thank you, Mr. Sotero, and to the officers and current members of the National Honor Society, Thank you for making this a memorial, mem memorable night for these inductees and their families. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Lacey Township Board of Education, I'd like to congratulate these 52 soon-to-be inducted members of the prestigious National Honor Society. Being inducted into the National Honor Society requires a lot of work and dedication. According to their website, the aim of the Edward B. Salter chapter is to create enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to render service, to promote leadership, and to encourage character development. Meeting the requirements to be a member is well worth the effort, not only for college applications, but for the skills you'll learn for future endeavors. You should be proud of yourselves for this honor, and not only is it a highlight in your high school career, it is also a special night for your parents and mentors. Though you have the ability and drive to be the student you are, your parents and your mentors are your supporters and devoted advocates. 
They are your guiding light and will always be there for you. Please take a moment tonight to thank them and give them a hug. Also, thank you to all who have played a role into shaping these students into the scholars they have become. Their elementary, middle, and high school teachers, administrators, advisors, and the support staff that make their school experiences safe and productive. It takes a village to raise a child, and our Lacey Township Village has and continues to do a great job. Again, congratulations to our inductees and guests. Remember to take lots of pictures. Have a good night. Thank you, Mrs. Downing. I would like to now invite Nora Vallis, National Honor Society Administrative Secretary, to explain the significance of the eternal flame of knowledge. The emblem of the society is composed of the keystone and the torch. The keystone bears at its base the letters C, S, L, and S, which stand for the four principles of the organization, character, service, leadership, and scholarship. The lighted torch represents truth and knowledge and is represented by the large white candle you see on the table before you. As this torch gives light to you, so may you give light to others. Casey Simonson, National Honor Society Vice President, will now explain the importance of the ceremony. Good evening. In 1921, Dr. Edward J. Reinerson founded the original chapter of the National Honor Society with the goal of recognizing and encouraging not only academic achievement but also crucial and beneficial characteristics of citizenry. This organization was to consist of those who stood out among, among, among others, the leaders, good Samaritans, and mature, determined individuals who would all unite for one common purpose, to serve their community. Thus, the four pillars of the National Honor Society, scholarship, service, leadership, and character were established. Since 1921, students all over the nation who display excellence in not just one of these areas, but all of them, had been entered into this elite organization. As each student receives their NHS stole, it symbolizes each student's acceptance of the responsibilities and duties expected of a National Honor Society member. They will choose to dedicate their time and effort, not just to excel in their academics and extracurricular activities, but, all, but to the better their community and the world in which they reside. By accepting the NHS stole, each student commits to a code of conduct set forth in the National Honor Society oath and to be a reputable member of our school. I would like to now introduce Madeline Frisch, National Honor Society Treasurer, to explain the first quality, scholarship. Scholarship is a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and studying, knowing the, knowing the last benefit of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends, only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunity inherent in scholarship. Emily Dacus, National Honor Society historian, will review service. The second quality is service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. Genevieve Biggs, National Honor Society, Sergeant at Arms, will review leadership. The next quality is leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interests of others. 
A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may, may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members. Anna Roth, National Honor Society Social Media and Communications Executive, will review character. The fourth quality is character. Character is a force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives one individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is a force of character which guides one through life, and when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is a product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Thank you, chapter executives. At this time, I'd like to invite Mr. King and Ms. Esch to the stage to proceed with the presentation of certificates, stoles, and membership. Bella Amorisano, mentor Samantha Dijon. Bella is a hardworking, successful student. She is a member of the Lacey Girls Tennis Team and the Surfrider Club at the high school. Bella is a strong leader who constantly prioritizes her education and responsibilities. Savannah Baralari. Mentor, Jeremy Merman. Savannah is a hardworking student who always tries her best and gives everything her all. Savannah spends her time working at Caffrey's where she's a food runner. She participates in crew calls for digital media and loves to hang out with friends. Savannah has good grades and is thinking about attending a four-year college after graduating high school. Savannah is always up for an adventure and when she needs help, she always asks for it. Savannah's friends describe her as extroverted, independent, friendly, and determined. In all, she is very excited to become a new member of the National Honor Society and is hoping to get involved as soon as possible. <laughs> Jessica Bentley, mentor Leah Davies. Jessica is a senior at LTHS. She is part of the winter, sp winter and spring track tennis teams. No, that ain't right. Jessica is a senior. She is a part of the winter and spring track teams, as well as a member of the Intergenerational Club, Close-Up Club, and other volunteer organizations. Marley Besser, mentor Karen Martinek. Marley is a well-rounded student who excels both in school and on the sports field. She enjoys playing soccer year-round, and when she has time off, she likes to spend time with her family and friends. Marley is involved with many clubs in the high school, and when she's not in school, she likes giving back to her community. In the future, she would like to attend a four-year college where she could study sports medicine and continue her athletic career. <laughs> Logan Brash, mentor Clark Brash. Logan is a STEM student at LTHS and excels in all of his classes. He is a hard worker and is very determined in what he does. He is also a student athlete and plays on the basketball team. <laughs> Lily Bruckman, mentor Lori Savage. Lily is a junior at Lacey Township High School. She's an active member of SGA and holds a seat on the board. She is also a swimmer for the high school's team and plays the flute for the band. She loves reading and writing and aspires to one day become an author. Isabella Caruso, mentor Trish Popowski. 
Isabella is a hardworking and dedicated individual that devotes herself to her own success. She's a proud member of the SGA and the women's varsity softball team. She leads with passion and a positive outlook through all of her endeavors. She takes pride in the person she has set out to become. Isabella is eager to further education while obtaining a degree in the medical field. <laughs> Marissa Castillo, mentor, Tim Snover. Marissa is a very hardworking student and athlete. She loves playing softball year round, and if she's not at softball, she loves to spend her time hanging out with friends and family. She is also part of the STEM Academy at the high school and motivates herself to work above and beyond to become the best student and person that she can be. She hopes to further her education by studying genetics and later become a genetic counselor. <laughs> April Cheng, mentor, mentor Alexandra York. April is a very hardworking student that cares about her education. She's a junior at Lacey Township High School and is a member of the Student Government Association, Surfrider Club, and the Secretary of Interact Club. She is an AP honor student and she wishes to go to college and pursue something in the medical field. April has an interest in giving back to the community and started volunteering in the summer, working at the library, and joined the Interact Club her sophomore year of high school. <laughs> Reese Kuhn. Mentor, Jean Kuhn. Reese is a student athlete who is currently enrolled in the Ocean County College Program and is currently earning her associate's degree, along with being in the Leadership Academy of the, of the Humanities. She has also played volleyball and basketball all throughout her high school career. After high school, Reese plans on furthering her education and majoring in marine biology. <laughs> Aiden Cottrell. Mentor, Sally DePaula. Aiden is a junior at Lacey Township High School. He's a hard worker in the classroom, obtaining mostly A's in his classes. When not working hard in the classroom, Aiden is out on the football field or in the weight room putting the work in. <laughs> Brendan Domaluski. Mentor, Elizabeth Law. Brendan is a hard worker in and out of the classroom. He is a straight A student and is the first to offer help to other students. Even when times get tough, Brendan pushes himself to try no matter how hard school can get. Brendan is always ready for a challenge. Christopher Donahue, mentor Bob Considine. CJ is a hard worker that always gives 100% in all he does. He understands the value of hard work and puts forth great effort to be his best in the classroom. It doesn't end there. Whether it is on the soccer field or track, he is giving his all for his team. CJ takes pride in his work as the sports director for the school's WLTS recording program. In school and out, CJ believes in contributing positively to his community. <laughs> Anthony Eckerson, mentor Kevin Eckerson. Anthony is an 11th grade student who works hard inside and outside of the classroom. He tries to be the best person possible when participating in after school activities such as sports, clubs, and etc. He makes an effort to maintain good relationships with his peers and looks forward to seeing them on a daily basis. Anthony is excited to be part of the NHS and will continue to make good choices that will positively impact the future. <laughs> Madison English. Mentor, Charles Ryder. Madison works hard every day with all of her extracurricular activities, including participating in the drama plays and mu musicals, being a member of the select ensemble, or both the varsity softball team and tennis team, as well as participating in peer mediation and being the vice president of the Elks Antlers Youth Volunteer Program. Beneath all the stress that comes with juggling all of her activities, she makes room for her friends and family that mean the most to her. She thanks her parents, Ryan and Angela English, for continuously pushing to reach her top potential and giving her great opportunities to follow her dreams in the future. Charlotte Fisher, mentor Christina Lee. Charlotte is an avid participant in athletics and clubs throughout the year, as well as being part of the STEM Academy at the high school. 
Her ambition motivates her to give 100% about things she's passionate about. When she isn't on the tennis courts or at the golf course, she is always there to give a helping hand. Charlotte hopes to continue her education by studying pre-med and later becoming a neuroscientist. She loves to travel and looks forward to seeing more of the world. <laughs> Emma Foglia, mentor Melissa Foglia. Emma has lived in Forker River, New Jersey her whole life, is 16 years old, and is a junior at Lacey Township High School. Emma devotes herself to honors classes, a job at retro fitness, weightlifting, and spending time with her family and friends. Emma is a goal-driven, mature, and, and a perfectionist with a passion for health and fitness. Formerly a 10-year state competitive gymnast, Emma spends her leisure time in the gym bodybuilding and powerlifting. <laughs> Alexis Foley, mentor Brennan Foley. Alexis is a strong-willed and independent young woman. She is part of the OCC Academy and will be getting her associate's degree in liberal arts by her senior year. Alexis is not only a student, but a cheerleader both in and outside of school. She hopes to further her career in the medical field after high school. <laughs> Matthew Gauthier, mentor Jeffrey Gauthier. Matthew is a hardworking student athlete that balances STEM honors and AP classes while being on the Lacey Township High School wrestling team. In his free time, he enjoys weightlifting, being outdoors, whether it's going to the beach or hiking, spending time with his family and friends. He values and embodies the traits of discipline, positivity, honesty, confidence, humor, and attacking the skill of leadership in all aspects of his life. Gianna Gelanella, mentor, Anthony Sarno. Gianna is a hardworking person who pushes herself to do great, not only in school but also in life. She's on the girls swim team and has been swimming for the past three years. <laughs> Avery Hayes, mentor Serena Fernicola. Avery is a hardworking and ambitious student who is involved in the community in and outside of school. She is committed to multiple clubs and is a boxer at Gladiator Gym. Avery is also part of the OCC Academy and is currently attaining her associate's degree in liberal arts. Avery wishes to study political science and law after high school. <laughs> Haley Hebrew, mentor Sherry Hebrew. Haley is a very diligent and driven student who strives to do her very best in school. She is a very compassionate, empathetic, and kind-hearted individual. She always displays the six pillars of character, which are trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. All these qualities were instilled in her by her mentor. <laughs> Jack Rabel, mentor Thomas Rabel. Jack is a junior at Lacey Township High School. He is also involved in drama and choir programs and partakes as a member of the swim team. In the summer, Jack works as a lifeguard, and in his free time, he likes to write scripts and create movies with his friends. He also likes spending time with his family and friends. <laughs> Paul Joseph Entrona, mentor Jennifer Entrona. Paul is a senior this year. He is a four-year member of the Lacey soccer team, a first-year member of the winter track as a thrower, and a four-year volleyball player. Paul is a member of the Ocean County College Academy here at the high school. Some of Paul's favorite things are hunting, his friends and family, and volleyball. Paul plans to attend Stockton University to achieve a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science. Paul thanks his friends, and most importantly, his family, for helping him throughout his academic and athletic career. Devin Krennic, mentor Butch Laramie. Devin is an honor roll student who is a member of the STEM Academy and the Lacey Girls Varsity Tennis Team. She is a responsible, goal-driven student who always manages to put forth her best effort and excel. She wants to go to college and study environmental science and oceanography. <laughs> Juliana Lido, 
mentor, David Leonard. Juliana is a caring and compassionate person who is counted on by others. She is a dedicated student. She plays on the varsity women's soccer team and participates in various extracurricular activities. She enjoys spending her time with her family and friends. Gianna Lesnikowski, mentor Cheryl Cook. Gianna is a junior who was part of Leadership Academy of the Humanities and the OCC Academy. She's a hardworking student who loves to spend her time volunteering at Lacey Elks as Vice President of the Antlers Program. She participates in many after school clubs and activities such as SGA, AADA, and the Armed Forces Club. When she is free, Gianna enjoys spending time with her family or crocheting. In the future, she plans to go into the medical field where she hopes to work in neonatal care. She is always optimistic and is excited about the new opportunities brought by joining the NHS. <laughs> Ashley Lomarin, mentor Lisa Lomarin. Ashley is a dedicated, hardworking student at Lacey Township High School. She is a member of the STEM Academy and enjoys spending her time in several extracurricular activities, including band, robotics club, and women's varsity track. She successfully balances her clubs, sports, and academics while maintaining an exceptional GPA. Ashley works hard to improve and strives to be the best version of herself. <laughs> Lauren Finver, mentor Kathleen Finver. Lauren is a hardworking and committed student. Some of her hobbies include singing and making art. She's been in the chorus since second grade and has continued on to be a part of the select ensemble. She's currently in the process of being inducted into the NAHS. She hopes to get a degree in fine arts to continue sharing these passions. <laughs> Autumn Mangan, mentor Michael Olender. Autumn is a very friendly person. She loves making new friends and being kind to those around her. She always works to put her best foot forward in all of her endeavors. Autumn is thrilled to take part in NHS this year and is excited to see how she will grow from it. <laughs> Ava Mangan, mentor Dylan Mangan. Ava is a kind, hardworking individual who has three older brothers and continues to make her family proud. She works hard in her studies and volunteers in many extracurricular activities. Ava has a service heart and is always willing to help those less fortunate and cares about the well-being of others. <laughs> Kayla McLeod, mentor Joe Romeo. Kayla is kind, analytical, and driven. She enjoys academics and strives to be the best at everything she does. She's a member of the Surfrider chapter at the high school, peer mediation, the student reading committee, and the library's volunteer program, SCISSL. She also participates in Lacey Track and is aiming to attend the West Point Military Academy when she graduates. <laughs> Maeve Meehan, mentor Valerie Meehan. Valerie is currently actively deployed. Standing in her place is Vincent Meehan. Maeve is a committed student athlete who plays field hockey and lacrosse. She's a member of the OCC Academy, where she is in the process of completing her associate's degree in liberal arts. After high school, Maeve will be continuing her academic and lacrosse career at East Carolina University, where she's looking to complete her doctorate in physical therapy. Outside of school, Maeve plays club lacrosse and likes to hang out with friends and family. She has three brothers, Drew, Evan, and Declan, as well as her two parents, Megan and Vincent. Joseph Morales, mentor Lana Morales. Joseph is a hardworking individual. He works hard in and out of school. In school, he achieves high standards as a student. Out of school, he participates in a variety of clubs, including SGA, Fishing Club, and DECA. He is an athlete as well. He plays both basketball and football for the school. <laughs> Maggie Monroe. Mentor, Ryan Hall. Maggie is in the STEM Academy and is interested to continue her education in a four-year college with a STEM interest. She's excited for her senior year where she intends to continue with field hockey and competition cheer. She enjoys reading and taking care of her cat, 
Myla. Outside of school, Maggie has been cheering at primetime All-Stars with Coach Ryan for nine seasons. <laughs> Sila Morazek, mentor Samantha Schmidt. Sila is a high achieving student who prioritizes academics in the STEM Academy while also being involved in various clubs and activities. She spends most of her time working a part-time job, volunteering at her church, and spending time with family and friends. When she graduates, she hopes to pursue further education in the math field. <laughs> Coral Audrey Nastasi, mentor Jennifer Sullivan. Coral is an active athlete at Lacey Township High School. She maintains honor rolls and loves being active in her school community. If there is anything she loves most, it is her family and friends. Her mom is her number one supporter in everything she does, and Coral makes sure to make her proud. In her free time, she enjoys bowling with her grandparents and sometimes settling down with a good movie once in a while. She likes to hang with her little cousins, Haley, Sadie, and Nicholas, but her best friend of all times, even though she is older, is Che. After graduation, she wants to go to college and become an anesthesiologist technician. Overall, Coral is someone who likes to give back to others and help out in any way that she can. <laughs> Brianna Price. Mentor, Allison Zeba. Brianna is a dedicated, hardworking individual. She is also involved in many clubs such as SGA, Interact, Intergenerational Club, and more. She also is a part of the women's soccer team and the women's winter and spring track teams. Most importantly, enjoys spending quality time with friends and family. Lauren Rennie, mentor Alyssa Smilowitz. Lauren is a dedicated, hardworking, and well-rounded student athlete. Lauren is a two-year varsity field hockey player and also plays ice hockey for the Philadelphia Hockey Club. She enjoys participating in the many clubs at Lacey Township High School. She is an avid member of the community and a seasonal employee for the Township Recreation Department. In her free time, she enjoys spending time with family, friends, and her dog, Willow. She is thankful for the support and guidance that she receives from her family, coaches, and teachers. In the future, she hopes to attend a four-year college to pursue a degree in physical therapy or exercise science. <laughs> Julia Roselli, mentor Elise Winkle. Julia has an infectious personality and can light up any room. She knows how to put a smile on anyone's face at any given time. She is a compassionate, loving person, and this is shown in her relationships with family and friends. She is a courageous and enjoys a challenge. Julie is a well-rounded individual that shows pride and displays confidence in everything that she does. Julie is someone others should look up to and know they can always count on for anything that they need. <laughs> Nicolina Sacamano, mentor Vanessa Goman. Nicolina is a hardworking and dedicated individual who always puts 100% into everything that she does. She is currently a junior and has achieved high honor roll every year at the high school. She is a part of the women's volleyball school team and a Lacey soccer club outside of school. She is involved in many clubs year round and is a historian for Lacey's Interact and Surf Rider Club. <laughs> Celia Santacero, mentor Aaron Fritz. Celia has a bright outlook on her academic path. Along with maintaining a high GPA, she also balances several extracurricular activities, being the girls' swim team captain, surf rider co-president, and the backstage manager of the LTHS theater department. Celia has exemplified leadership in all aspects of life. She strives for greatness in all that she does and continues to work hard. Celia often puts others before herself and will help out in any way possible. Celia has a passion for making a difference and aims to better her community along with the people around her. Cameron Smith, mentor Robert Smith. Cameron is a student athlete at Lacey Township High School. He does cross country in the fall and does track in the winter and spring. After school, almost every day, he goes to Anytime Fitness. In school, he is a pretty good student as well. He is a part of the STEM Academy and is an AP class for English. He volunteers a lot at PTSA events. A little bit ago, he did the mother-son bingo. In his free time, 
You can find him playing video games. <laughs> Drew Snyder, mentor Kyleen Dudley. Drew is a very determined and hardworking student who takes on various honors and AP courses. She partakes in different clubs and tries to be involved with the high school the best she can. Aside from her academics, Drew is also considered outgoing and kind to her peers in and out of school. Her hard work is shown through her accomplishments and progress as she continuously strives to help others and work for a bright future. <laughs> Lily Soul, mentor Maurice Grillon. Lily is a hardworking student who plans to attend college and travel the world after high school. She is a junior class secretary and one of the pre vice presidents of the Interact Club. This is Lily's third year mentoring a Mill Pond student through the Big Brother Big Sister program. She is also a member of DECA and the Student Reading Committee. She has been on the high honor roll every marker period since her freshman year. She has an eclectic interest including taking film pictures, baking and listening to her favorite music on vinyl. <laughs> Kelly Stout, mentor Becky Bust. Kelly is a hardworking student and is excited to be a member of NHS. Kelly participates in many extracurricular activities such as student government and Interact. She loves to help out her community. Her friends describe her as adventurous, outgoing, and determined. She is excited to see all that she can accomplish as a new member of the NHS. <laughs> Bennett Talbot, mentor. John Sotero. Bennett is an active member of the school community. He is a member of the Interact Club and Track. He also participates in the marching band, concert band, and jazz band. Bennett is also a member of STEM Academy and enjoys challenging himself with the difficult courses. Andrew Tattisher, mentor Christopher Tattisher. Andrew is a dedicated student athlete who participates in both varsity cross country and track at Lacey Township High School. Outside of school, he enjoys spending his free time with friends and family. Andrew plans on going to college to focus on a career in physical therapy in the future. <laughs> Carrie Tripligan, mentor Danielle Frostlier. Carrie is a hardworking individual. She is part of the OCC Academy as well as an active member of DECA. Her family is 100% without a doubt her biggest fans and support her no matter what. She aspires to further education in college studying business. <laughs> Christine Elise Wepler, mentor Randy Vaccaro. Kristen is a dedicated and hardworking student. She has been the president of a student-run nonprofit organization called Atlantic Clean Team for the last two years. Kristen and her board of members have successfully cleaned up parks throughout Ocean County and have been recognized by Tom's River Township. Kristen also enjoys coaching gymnastics, singing, acting, painting, and spending time with family. <laughs> Avery Whalen. Mentor, Tracy Whalen. Avery is an avid member of the Lacey Township High School community. She's a secretary of the Student Government Executive Board. She participates in drama club and choir and is a member of the Select Ensemble Choir. She is also part of the girls' tennis team. <laughs> Santos Wolf, mentor, Ruthie Wolf. Santos is a driven, conscientious, and caring person. He is presently in the Jumpstart program with OCC and will be graduating with, with an associate's degree. Santos has a wide range of interests, which include sports, engineering, and finance. He enjoys playing basketball and helping others.
Thanks. Congratulations, new inductees. I'd like to invite Ana Stevens, chapter president, to the podium to recite the National Honor Society Oath. Candidates, please rise. We will now recite the National Honor Society Oath. You have heard the principles explained to you. Therefore, please repeat after me the pledge of this society. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of this society to which I've been elected to be true to its principles and ideals by word and deed maintaining high standards of character, scholarship, leadership, and service. It is my privilege and my pleasure to present the new members of the Lacey Township High School Honor Society. Congratulations. Please be seated. At this time, I'd like to wel welcome NHS member Kylie Conti to the podium to announce the National Honor Society Member of the Year. As a tradition of pride and honor, the Lacey Township High School's National Honor Society recognizes not only the hard work of our student body that we see before us tonight, but also the members of the Lacey Township High School community. We pre present two awards tonight to those invaluable members that make LTHS the place we can all call home. This year's individual is always thinking of others, whether it be her coworkers or students. She is always having her door open and is eager to listen to anything concerning well-being or academic progress, whether they are her students or not. She always has a smile on her face and immediately lifts the spirits of those who are around her. This person never fails to show up, whether it be on the field, in the classroom, or outside of school. She goes above and beyond what her job requires to make a student feel comfortable and safe as soon as they enter her room. She selflessly dedicates her time to organizing the Big Brother Big Sister program, which gives all students who are involved the opportunity to flourish in communication skills and confide in their assigned older brother or sister. This individual will make sure each and every one of her students is on the path to success and does anything in her power to help them reach their goals. Her kindness and beloved personality does not go unrecognized by the student body and her coworkers. For these reasons, it's my honor to recognize and congratulate Ms. Elise Winkle as the 2022-2023 Honorary National Honor Society Member of the Year. Congratulations, Ms. Winkle, on a well-deserved award. At this time, I'd like to welcome Ina Stevens, <laughs> chapter president, to the podium to present the National Honor Society Citizen of the Year Award. Our second honor is the Citizen of the Year. This is, a, this is presented every year to a faculty member who has contributed the most to help the student community. This teacher cares for every individual she comes in, into contact with, especially her students. Being a teacher, coach, and friend to all, Ms. Law has made an impact on all the lives of the students she works with, each day in and out of the classroom. In the school building, she is an outstanding human anatomy and biology teacher for all grade levels. She puts her heart and soul into every lesson. She plans daily engaging activities and ensures that all those leaving her room will exit with a, will exit with a mind full of new knowledge. Ms. Law, even gets the entire school to connect with one another. She has created projects with, that allows all students to interact with new peers, teachers, and even staff members. 
that they may not have known before learning. Outside of the classroom, she is a field hockey coach for Stockton University and a lacrosse coach for the Lacey Township High School, where she devotes ample time to her athletes, too, which she takes great pride in. There is never a day where she's not cheering you on before a match, game, or meet. Miss Law has only been a teacher at this high school for one full year, but she has truly left a lasting impression on all who have been fortunate to meet her. We can all say with certainty that she has been an asset to our school and community for a model for others to emulate. Congratulations, Ms. Law. Well deserved. Thank you all for coming to this evening and joining us for this special event. On behalf of the Edwin B. Seltzer chapter, I would now like to invite all of, all of you to join us for desserts and coffee in the cafeteria. We all hope you had a wonderful evening. 